In February 1994, under the direction of the state of California's Kern County Waste Management Department and in conjunction with Kern County Air Quality Management District, a PM10 dust control project was initiated to evaluate the effectiveness of the range of available chemical dust suppressants on unpaved roadways. The test was also used as a method of selecting the superior product for further application to reduce the PM10 fugitive emissions generated from unpaved roadways near the city of Ridgecrest, California. The test in this high desert community consisted of preparing unpaved roadbeds and applying the following test products. Magnesium chloride, 35% minimum magnesium chloride. Calcium chloride, 35% minimum calcium chloride. Lignocyte road binder, 50% calcium lignosulfonate. Coherix petroleum resin. Penzupress D petroleum resin. Soil cement liquid polymer emulsion. An engineer from Kern County Waste Management supervised the road preparation and application of all products. Roadbed preparation began in February 1994 on approximately four and a half miles of roadway. The dust suppressants were applied in accordance with manufacturer's recommendations and approved by the county engineer. Preparation consisted of shaping of the existing unpaved roadbeds, scarifying the unpaved roadbed, application of the dust suppressant, compaction of the roadbed surface, application of the final top coat of dust suppressant, followed by blading to form a smooth, firm surface. It was believed by so preparing the project's roadbeds, the life of the dust suppressants would be maximized. Test sites were then examined three months, six months, and 12 months following application. Approximately 90 days following the primary application, a site inspection revealed the following. The overall appearance of the road treated with magnesium chloride was also very good. The calcium chloride treatment was good, although there was some potholing and washboarding. The lignocyte treated roadway had an overall good appearance, although there was considerable washboarding and trenching. The Coherix product provided the roadway with a good appearance overall, but had severe rutting and potholing. The roadway treated with Penzupress D had a good overall appearance with no potholes and just a small amount of washboarding. The soil cement treated roadway achieved an excellent overall appearance with no potholing, washboarding or breakdowns. In August 1994, approximately six months following the initial applications, the contractor working for Kern County returned to grade and blade as necessary repair any potholes, washboarding and furrows, and reapply a scheduled topical maintenance application to the road and shoulder of each area as planned at a rate recommended by the manufacturer and approved by the engineer. No compaction was required during the maintenance application. An inspection of the roads prior to this reworking revealed the following. The magnesium chloride area maintained an overall good appearance, but with considerable washboarding and some potholing. The appearance of the calcium chloride treated roadway was rated as okay, and the road needed to be regraded before maintenance. The lignocyte treated road exhibited a poor appearance with severe rutting, washboarding, many deep potholes, and excessive dustiness. The roadway treated with Coherix was described as having a terrible appearance with deep ruts, potholes, and washboarding noted over the entire length of the road. The Penzupress D treated roadway also had an overall poor appearance and the roadbed had deteriorated markedly since the 90-day inspection. Soil cement's overall performance was deemed excellent by inspectors. The surface was hard, smooth, and dust-free just as it had appeared after the initial application. A full year since the initial application of the dust suppressants and six months after the previous inspection, the contractor returned to the site for one last inspection. 
At the one-year mark, magnesium chloride's overall performance was listed as okay, with considerable loose material on top of the roadbed. Because of ground moisture and spring conditions, only minimal dust was obvious and it was difficult to determine how much material had washed away. The calcium chloride roadway was also listed as okay and exhibited conditions very similar to those reported for magnesium chloride. Lignocyte's overall performance was very poor, with 80% deterioration of the roadway. Excessive potholing, rutting, and washboarding were also noted. Coherix's overall performance was rated a complete failure, with a 99% deterioration of the roadbed area. The road was so rutted and potholed, the county was forced to regrade the area due to resident complaints. Penzupress D's overall performance was extremely poor, with a 90% failure of the product to stabilize the roadbed. Potholes, ruts, and large areas of breakdown were evident everywhere. Soil cement's performance was again rated excellent. Even after a year of being exposed to the high desert climate, there was no potholing, no rutting, and no washboarding visible. Of the products tested, only soil cement was successful in preventing roadbed deterioration such as potholes, washboarding, rutting, and areas of breakup. Only the road using soil cement did not require regrading after six months and prior to the maintenance application. Only soil cement prevented washing and excessive deterioration of the road surface following bad weather. Only soil cement retained any practical ability for controlling dust after the 12-month period. Following the final inspection of all areas treated, Kern County Waste Management, in conjunction with Kern County Air Quality Management District, determined soil cement to be the clear choice to continue the PM10 dust control project in Kern County. All roads involved in the pilot project were then treated with soil cement. Soil cement continues to perform at a high level of effectiveness as both a road stabilization and dust control agent. Soil cement, the clear choice.